Hey everyone, Vince Montero here. And in this video, I'm gonna be covering a somewhat newer metric within the Amazon ads console. And that's the top of search impression share metric. Now this is available through a report that you can get in the reporting area of Amazon. And that's good to look at the entire account, but there's a, an area within Amazon in the campaign section where this data is also visible that I wanted to share. Now, this is only available really for sponsored product campaigns for this type of optimization, but it might be helpful to maybe include this for specific types of campaigns that maybe you're just looking to give a boost to. So let's take a look at Amazon. Here in this account, I'm looking for, again, specific types of campaigns that maybe could use a little extra boost. And I'm leveraging the data that you see here, which is one area within Amazon that you, this data is visible. And just as a reminder or refresher, what this is, top of search impression share, is simply the percentage of top of search impressions that this whole entire campaign received for all the available top of search impressions that it was eligible to receive. So it goes into some details about what that means, but basically for the past 90 days, again, I have year to date metrics on here because I'm looking for a lot longer data sets. When you have them, I like to do in these types of optimizations. So I'm looking at year to date metrics, which all these are reflected, but this information here is just for the past 90 days. So this campaign at the top, I know that for the past 90 days, this campaign has received 37% of all available impressions, which is pretty good, greater than a third. This one's even higher, 40% of all available impressions. So I'm looking for something that has some opportunity, you know, it has a lower number like this one, but also has some good ACoS. Because again, what we're gonna be doing is adding keywords that technically is gonna increase ACoS. So I don't maybe wanna do that for a campaign that has a higher ACoS like this one. This one's at 29% almost, and this one here is 5%. So it's only getting 5% of the available top of search impression shares for this campaign. And the ACoS is good. It's only at 15% and sales are pretty good at uh, 73,000. So this is a good candidate for the type of optimization that I wanted to share with you guys today. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into the ad group, click on the targeting. Here in the targeting page, we can see that there's only 13 keywords, which is pretty good. And this is also just for some background, all the match types are broad. So that tells me, and the campaign name tells me that this is a research-based campaign. That simply means that this particular campaign is for research. You could do this for phrase or exact match keywords if you wanted to, but this is a campaign that we're leveraging to find additional search terms. Potentially, they're gonna be connected to these keywords. So we're gonna go ahead and click on add keywords, and I'm just gonna kind of run through this because there's a couple of things I wanted to note. Now, the bid, obviously, you've got a couple different options, but this one is new, suggested bid for Prime Day. So if we look at what's available right here, here's $10 for this top one here. For Prime Day, it's gonna probably go up. No, because that was a branded keyword. So these other keywords went up based on, you know, a suggestion for Prime Day. So this video is probably gonna come out after Prime Day, but this is helpful in the future, potentially maybe for Cyber Monday or other high sales volume days that Amazon's kind of building this in. If you wanted to use custom bids or default bids, you could go ahead and do that here. I like to keep things on suggested bids only because I know this particular campaign is being managed by software. So it's gonna increase the bids over time anyways, once they get launched. If you're not using software though, then maybe I'd still just apply suggested bids and maybe increase your top of search placements. And you can look at a recent video I did about you know dynamic bidding and top of uh, search and product page placement bidding. And that's a whole separate video. So Amazon's gonna give you the options for all the match types, which of course you should never have all different match types in a campaign only one match type per campaign, and it's sorting it by orders or by clicks. Now, I don't really see much of a difference when I have used this here, or actually I do. I see the branded keywords actually moved it down the page a little bit, because obviously the bike rack search term is gonna get more clicks than a branded keyword. I'm still gonna sort by orders. Whenever I can get information from Amazon that's actually based on orders, I'm gonna do it that way. Now, the information that we're gonna look at is here, it, the impression share and impression rank. So I kind of give you the explanation at the account level or the campaign level. This is the same information, but at the actual keyword level. So for each of these keywords below, we're gonna be looking at both impression share, 
which is the percentage of impressions you're getting on this term relative to all impressions that are available. If it's at zero, that means you didn't get any impressions for that term that are available. And rank is kind of where you stand as far as that impression share. A lower number is good. So for example, this second keyword here, the impression rank is two. Impression rank is one for this one. So I'm number one and I'm getting 96% of the impressions. This one is 42% of the total available impressions and the rank is number two. So there's only one you know, keyword that's ahead in this particular rank. Now, obviously that's the case because these are actual branded terms and I don't want that. This is not a branded keyword campaign. I'm not looking for branded terms to do this exercise. Those keywords are already in a different campaign. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch these off because I'm only looking for broad match keywords in this campaign. And I do wanna note that this data that is visible in this section here, this is pulled from existing campaigns. And again, I mentioned before, 90 days worth of data is looked at to give these numbers. So really this strategy is also really only good for campaigns that have been running for at least 90 days. And hopefully you do have some auto campaigns running because you're gonna get a lot more information on the impression share and rank if you do. So this is actually, again, metrics that are from your account and from your campaigns. So this is why I'm sharing it with you to potentially leverage. Now, this is a little bit more of a long-term optimization because you do have to look at each one of the suggestions one at a time. Because although this product is a bike rack, it's definitely not a bike hoist. It's not a bike lift. Even though these terms have really good orders for this category, these are not relevant to this particular product. Neither is club bike clip, neither is a kickstand. So you really have to look, again, here's another branded keyword. I don't want that. These are, this is not a branded keyword campaign. So you might have to search a little bit more, a little bit further down to find something that is really good. But here's one, bike rack ceiling. Now this technically could get mounted to the ceiling, I suppose, but you see we've got an impression share of almost 27%, which is pretty good. And the impression rank is already at number two. So, but we're not bidding on this particular keyword in broad match. So that might be something that I do want to go ahead and test. Now, bicycle rack garage impression rank is number six. I would say anything that's below 10 is something that might have potential, especially if it is specific or relevant to your product. Is this a bicycle rack garage? Yeah, you can actually install this in the garage Impression share is really low, 0.25% for this one, but in impression rank, that means only five other advertisers are ahead for this particular keyword. So that is something that has some potential. So that's all we're looking for here. We're looking for potential, you know, a lower impression rank, which means, you know, closer to number one and a low impression share. The swivel bike rack, that's perfect. This, this product does actually swivel. Mountain bike rack, this is the mountain bike campaign. So yes, a mountain bike rack would actually be probably very beneficial to have. And again, it's under 10. If you wanna get a little bit more, you know, fine tune, maybe say under five, but I'm being a little bit, you know, broad with this one as I'm adding these. And again, all I'm looking to do is what can I maybe find beyond looking at the search term reports, which is what you usually do to add keywords. But in the search term reports, what you're looking at is sales. So if any of these keywords had sales or search terms had sales with a low ACoS, I might add them as a manual keyword. But here we're leveraging what's the potential of some of these search terms as potentially, you know, keywords. Here's another good one here. We're number two impression rank and only a 2% impression share. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of those. So you get the idea. I could keep going if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and just stop with those ones that I've added. And that just gives you an idea of a way that you can leverage these top of search impression share metrics, as well as the impression rank. Once you get into the campaign and click on the add a keyword function, again, this is a longer optimization process, a very manual, but if you want to fine tune things, maybe you've got a seasonal product. This is just a practice you might want to employ to see if you can give some of your campaigns a boost by looking at the potential of some of the search terms that you can then target as keywords. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.